So I'm going to shoot for a two minute summary of No Self, No Problem. First, if you've bought the book, if you've done a review, very much appreciated. Um, let's get into it. So uh, the fundamental premise is that the left side of our brain tells all kinds of stories. And one of the most problematic stories is the story of our ego, our self. There's nothing wrong with the self unless you take it seriously. And you say, okay, well, what's the problem with taking the self story seriously? Well, think about it. Uh, you know, did you lie awake at night worrying about someone else's problems? Chances are you probably spend most of your time thinking about your problems. So the self is like this hub of a wheel and all your problems are those spokes. And if, if you take the self seriously, it's like this gravitational force that just gives structural integrity to all those problems. If you take the self seriously, you take the self's problems seriously. And so uh, this is really just another version of a thinking problem. And so we spend so much of our time thinking and we really don't have to spend nearly as much time as we do. And some of this has to do with uh, changes in culture from when this self program emerged, when the left brain started telling these stories, it was really useful for our survival. Today, it's simply no longer useful. So the second half of the book shifts over to the right side of the brain and the right side of the brain is here, it's now, it's in the present moment. It's not worried about some hypothetical future that might happen. And it's really uh, a joyful blessing when you start experiencing the world through the lens of the right brain. Uh, you've got music and uh, poetry and really all kinds of forms of art. And it's, there's never some problem of survival and there's never a problem to solve. It's just being in reality here and now and that state of consciousness is always one of joy.